Hey, what's up, turtles? It's Crick here with Blackout Outdoors. And today I'm going to be doing a review on the set of binoculars I'm holding, which are the Bushnell Trophy XLT. And this is the 8x32. It comes in this, comes in this nice, um, nice pouch holder, what you will. I think it's nylon, just by the feel of it, touching it. Nonetheless, it feels um, pretty durable, well constructed. The seams, you know, are holding. No easy, no phrase. There's no phrase which sometimes you'll see on nylon cases like this. And there's a little bit of webbing back here to pop on your belt if you want to have the binoculars off your neck, but still readily at hand to fed your belt through here and put it on your belt. Nice little feature. A lot of them feature this, and I think that's important because at times that's how I want to carry them. This flap is held by uh, some hook and loop. Get out the binoculars now. Keep dropping that. I just have the, the neck um, wrapped up around the inside of it. And this these are waterproof and fogproof. And it has this rubberized feel. Maybe you'll be able to tell by looking at it through the camera. Maybe not. But it's definitely all rubberized. Nice grip to it. Definitely get a sturdy, um, you know, solid feel to it. Nice little bit of ergonomic swoop right here. To rest your fingers. And this is the 8x32. And I want to say these are going for probably around 90 to $100, probably as when they were first coming out. So I'm gonna put them in that price range if I'm gonna compare it to some other binoculars. But you can definitely find them cheaper now online. And, <clears throat> excuse me, what the 8x32 means, gotta get this in the shot. The 8x32, the first number in a set of binoculars refers to its power magnification. And this is eight. So meaning if I see an object with my naked eye, off in the distance, I put, the, put these binoculars up and look through them, that object's gonna appear eight times closer than it does with my naked eye. Something to keep in mind. You might think that a higher first number in a, in a pair of binoculars is gonna make them better, which they can, but you also have to keep in mind that at a higher magnification at a distance when you're trying to look at something, you get a lot of shake in the field of view because it's such a large, huge picture it's bringing up to you a little bit of shake can really make it you know, disorienting and not really pleasurable to view things through that, which so you'll need a mount, potentially. That being said, anyways, this 8x32 has a little bit of shake to it, but nothing you can't compensate. It's a little bit of practice getting used to holding binoculars up. And the 32 is actually 32 millimeters, 3.2 centimeters, and that refers to this lens right here, the actual size of this objective lens. And literally what that, what that means and what that I guess means to you if you're looking for a set of binoculars is this determines how much light is going to be captured in the binocular. And you can imagine this actually as a pupil. There's, there's, a, there's a number called an exit pupil, but this is, as well works as a pupil or it has the same concept of the pupil that whenever we're in low light settings, our eyes specifically, our pupils will dilate and get larger to allow more light to be collected and us to see in, in, in lower light. And this is what this size of this lens refers to. And if you have a larger lens, you're gonna be able to pick up light and uh, pick up, excuse me, um, you know, real see better in, in lower light, and that's important if you want to hunt. If you want to hunt with these, where a lot of a lot of wildlife are active, you know, in the dawn and dusk hours of the day, if you, you know, just for wildlife viewing purposes in general, animals are active when she might want to be out, you know, the sunset and sunrise, all that stuff. And these are really really quality optics, uh, excuse me. Um, optics within this. This is the BAK-4 prisms, which are also featured in, uh, in the Loophole Rogue comp uh, compact pair, uh, pair of binoculars, which I've done a review on, and they're really, really clear. I want to emphasize, if you want a pair of binoculars and you're not sure where to get, what to get, or what style, you might not know, you might have to buy a pair and just try them out and see what you like and then make a better informed decision down the road, but you want to make sure there's quality optics because you're buying a pair of binoculars to look at something from a distance and you want to have that image clear in my mind. It makes no sense to buy a pair of binoculars where the image isn't clear. I just want to, I just want to um, you know, touch on that. It has twisting uh, eye cups that come up to help uh, if you're wearing glasses or if you're not wearing glasses. And these are very, very comfortable in my eye socket to use, these, these larger eye cups. And I'll keep mentioning uh, the loophole Rogue I've done a review on, to sort of compare and contrast this. That was a compact, uh, compact set of binoculars. This is not. This is sort of the medium size range uh, because it's featuring this um, roof, roof uh, prism design. 
meaning the prisms are in line, you can see straight here. A, a poro or a compact, you have this almost this, um, you know, this 45 degree or maybe, no, not 45, or 40, whatever. You have you have a angle of the prisms, and this is straight. And this and this roof prism is sort of designated for mid-size and larger uh, size optics and binoculars and um, monocle. But anyways, really comfortable. These eye cups really comfortable. Really nice rubberized feel against the face, which is important to me. It's not a hard plastic. It's it's a comfortable feel. And the, um, try to get this in the light. Maybe not. The, the lenses itself on both sides, you have the other objective here, they're, they're, they're fully fully and multi-coated. Which that means is that any air to glass surface is completely covered and multi-layered. And that's another sign of a, of a quality pair of optics if it's fully multi-coated. I hope that makes sense. But it's something to look out for in the specs of, of a pair of binoculars if you're looking for some. To, to keep a lookout for that too. Which helps reduce glare and just you know makes it a little bit better set of binoculars. I want to say this weighs about 20 ounces. Definitely not an issue at all uh, to carry this around your neck for a day, all day or in the pack. Definitely gets down small enough. You can see next to my hand, not about medium sized hands, but it's definitely, you know, as, as a medium sized binocular go, I'll still consider this compact. You know, just about the size of my hand. No problem throwing this in a day pack and carrying it around when you need it or around the neck. And there's a diopter adjusting on this right lens here, a little plus and minus. And that's to specifically, <clears throat> excuse me, adjust the binoculars to your, your eyesight. And there's through a process where you pick an object farther than its close, um, close focus distance. You close one eye, adjust this so it's clear. You, and then you open up the other one and close the one, you just adjust it and, and do it again. And through a process like that, you adjust this to your eye and then you can just use the center focus, which is right here. And this is the center focus. Once you adjust the, the diopter, and it's all just gravy, just pull it up and just go from the center focus. <clears throat> and I'm actually gonna use this pair of binoculars tomorrow. I have the Leupold Rogue compact set, but this has a wider viewing angle, which would be a little bit nicer for wildlife viewing. I'm actually gonna go try to see some bald eagles tomorrow on a river island on a, on a an island they're trying to use to bring populations back here in Pennsylvania. And I'm going to take this pair as opposed to my uh, compact pair of my, of my Rogue just because it's a, it's a little bit better, better viewing anger, uh, angle wider, which may help you know if I'm looking for birds. Now these aren't birding binoculars, obviously. Maybe not obviously, sorry. If you want birding binoculars, you know, they're going to be huge, which so you can see really from a distance of uh, the birds. These aren't it. These are compact, more compact, midsize but still nonetheless a quality pair of optics. The prisms in here are quality, really crisp, clear images. And the close focus distance on this is right under 10 feet, under three meters. And that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool because, you know, you maybe think about you using a pair of binoculars or, you know, singular to look at an object that's really far away from you in the distance and make it look bigger. But also if you're sitting quiet in the woods and potentially a bird's 10 feet away from you, what that will look like when you throw it up here that's magnified by eight, you're gonna see so much detail that you never would have saw if you're trying to see it that, you know, it's 60 feet away, as opposed to sitting quiet and really focusing something, you know, really close to you. So that close focus distance sort of comes into play, play in, in, in that instance, particular instance. And this is really, and this focuses really well, really well, really clear at that distance and even a little bit closer, I, I feel. But all in all, it's a nice piece, of, a nice piece of equipment. The optics are there, the quality optics are there. This is Crick signing out with Black Outdoors. Later, Turtles.